It's official. I am obsessed with buying cheap Casios. I already owned these four Casios, but I couldn't resist buying another. This is the Casio MTP1275SG-9ADF, a typically catchy Casio model number. This one caught my eye because the case design reminded me of the Vacheron Constantin overseas. As it turns out, it really isn't anything like that watch. It is much smaller and thinner than the chunky and sporty overseas. It came in this plastic display box, which I will use to store the spare bracelet links. It is a dainty little watch, more dressy than sporty. The case measures just 35 millimeters in diameter with a thickness of seven millimeters and a lug width of 18 millimeters. The lug to lug dimension is around 41 millimeters. The gold colored crown is unsigned, but nicely rounded. It is a high polished finish as you can see, no brushing insights here, and it is an absolute fingerprint and scratch magnet. The case back is solid stainless steel, as you would expect with a quartz watch, and the crystal is a mineral glass. Water resistance is limited to just 30 meters. The dial is a champagne colored sunburst with applied gold hour markers and printed black minute markers. Casio quartz is printed at the top of the dial with the dreaded water resist at the six o'clock and Japan movement in the chapter ring. The text is so small though, it's barely noticeable. No date window on this one, which I like. And the gold sword star hands are very thin indeed. There is no loom whatsoever in case you were wondering. The movement is a simple quartz movement and the alignment isn't quite perfect. And that's all there really is to say about the movement. The bracelet is two-tone stainless steel and gold tone and measures 18 millimeters wide and tapers slightly to the clasp. Like the case, it is fully polished. This is one of the main reasons I bought the watch as I've never been sure about two-tone watches and I wanted to give one a try. The bad news is that the bracelet has folded links with a folding clasp, and it is one of the most jingly jangly bracelets I have ever handled. It does feel quite flimsy, so this might be a deal breaker for some people, although you can always swap it out if you have a spare strap lying around, of course. I bought this watch on Amazon Marketplace brand new for $36.99, but you can also find them on eBay for similar money. I don't think I would pay much more. You can definitely tell that it is a cheap watch. If you don't like the two-tone gold and stainless steel, it also comes in many other variants with black and white dial options, an Explorer slash Ranger style dial, and a tacky full gold tone. I have to admit though, the small case size really works on my skinny 6 inch wrist. After my last Casio video, I realised that it's best to find your sweet spot and stick to it when it comes to case size. It doesn't matter how much you like a watch or how much you want a watch, if it is too large or too small for your wrist. The champagne dial is really smart looking and I do like the two tone stainless steel and gold so I will probably end up keeping this one. It probably wouldn't last long as a daily wearer. The high polish finish will probably look pretty ropey in time. But as part of a rotation, it is cheap and cheerful, like most Casios. If it breaks, throw it out and buy another one. So should you consider buying this watch? Yes, I don't see why not. It looks really cool, even if the quality isn't great. I don't see the issue with buying cheap watches, as long as you know what to expect. If you want better quality, then spend more money. If you want to see more of these bargain basement Casio videos in future, and you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments down below. I keep finding new and quirky Casio, so I'm sure it won't be long before I snag another one. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. I will really appreciate it. That's all I've got time for today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye now.